Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel NLTV. I'm Rita, your host for today. And in this episode, we're going to introduce you for the very first time, the Technical Support Service Department. And next, we're going to take a look at their lab to see what our engineers are usually doing to tackle the issues of our products. Oh, and before we go in, don't forget to subscribe our channel so you won't miss any interesting videos. Okay, let's go in. Oh, see, this is our TSC engineer, Eva. Hello, Eva. Hi, Rita. Can you take a tool for us to show what facilities are in the lab and what you're using doing here okay. to help to tackle the issues of the products? Okay, you can see uh, this Chris is our lab mm -hmm. and we can uh, we also use the, uh, this Chris font and machine to help us to uh, figure out the problems mm -hmm. and also use the server board and this desktop board to help us du duplicate the problem and figure out the root cause. Oh, okay, I see. Eva, and I see a quite huge machine on the back. Can you tell me what does the machine do? Okay, uh, for this human machine, it's our chamber, so we are usually to used to testing the high temperatures. Now we have learned a lot of the platforms and the machines, and for now, can you show us um, a little demonstration to show how do you usually tackling the issues of the problem of the products? Okay, uh, I will show you uh, about our favorite analysis process. Mm. Uh, since this disk cannot be detected, first we will uh, check the problem if it's uh, relative to the hardware issue. So we will change the SATA port and the SATA cable over the platform to check the problem is relative to the hardware software or phone weight. For the second step, we will check the smudge built by the iSmart tool. So we can see this uh, interface. Uh, we usually to focus on the later bit or the average count and the uh, abnormal power cycle count to help us to check this disk a long time later bit box. Uh, we always uh, reserve some debug holes or debug pad so we can use this cable and compare the Peraton tool so we can dump the bug log so help us to check the error message. Oh, okay. So um, normally after strictly follow the SOP of the testing steps, um, what if after all these three steps we still haven't found the exact issue of the product? Do we have any advanced um, testing tool to see the actual problems of the products? Okay, uh, I will show you. Since this disk cannot be detected, so we will check the power sequence and our voltage results by this machine. So we can uh, use this result to discuss with our engineer or other uh, division to uh, check this problem. So I believe we all learned a lot today of the steps and the stations that you will strictly follow the procedure to tackle the issue of the products steps by steps. And I suppose all these after after services is very complete. And I suppose it's um, all include our in our product price, right? Oh uh, yes. For the fail samples, we will follow the failure tree analysis process to to do some investigations and cross comparisons to the customer. So we uh, we try to provide some uh, the best service to our customer. That's why we are here to help our customer. Oh, I see. So all the intact after sale services are the core value of InnoDisk. And that's why our customers can be so rely and count on us. So I guess that's it for today. Thank you, Eva, for such a comprehensive introduction of the technical support service department and what you usually do to take hold the issue of the products. And you. if you like this video, please give us a thumb up. And don't forget to follow our channel and press the bell button so you won't miss any interesting video later on. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.